Hello everyone and welcome to this very quick video about a new change that I have noticed in the G Suite admin console with the help of one of my colleagues actually who pointed out that the, there is a new button that has been added in the groups page. So you cannot imagine how happy I am and how awesome this moment is in my life because having a dynamic group functionality in G Suite was one of the major pains that I had and all of the questions that I got about this ended up with I'm sorry there is no way you can do it unless you script it or you make your own workflow I even had made a script using Google Apps script for the dynamic groups and we did it for a customer actually so this is awesome this is very great actually and as you can see this is still beta and I'm not sure how long it will stay in beta or what is the process for this to show up in the admin console for users it just did show up for for our admin console where the, my colleague noticed this and i then checked out my admin console and i found this and i was actually jumping in my place <laughs> so you all know the importance of dynamic groups and you all know the how how easy things are made when you use dynamic groups to manage your admin console and your domain so First of all, I haven't seen any articles or anything about this change from Google. Hopefully there will be and hopefully this will not take long. I think this button has been very recently added. I mean by recently, I mean maybe in the latest or the last few days actually because again, there is no article or anything yet. The only reference I have seen about this is through the APIs and actually I've seen it uh, related to the cloud identity. So it's in the security section you see creating group and managing dynamic groups and this is the creating a dynamic, a dynamic group article so this is talking about how you can do it with the api and as you can see the beta notification here it tells you that this is pre-ga offering and you have to wait for it to be made ga and there are some stuff that might change when the product goes generally available but at least the core functionality will stay the same so this is the only article that i have seen about this and it tells you how you can create a dynamic group using the restful apis of python i'm not sure where is the admin console version really so hopefully that is something still to come and they are actually planning on releasing an update post an update blog and also i don't know the scope whether this will be limited to google cloud identity or to the, uh, all of the g suite users the only common thing that I have seen between my own admin console and with the other admin console that we initially saw the change was that other admin console was enterprise which does include cloud identity premium on this admin console that I have I already have G Suite business but I also have enabled the cloud identity premium as a separate subscription so this is the only common thing which is having cloud identity premium whether as a standalone subscription or as an embedded subscription within the G Suite Enterprise. So I just wanted to point this out for you guys. Hopefully you are seeing the same button or anyone who is seeing this, please test it out. And this is very simple and straightforward. If you just want to create a dynamic group, for example, you'll do it the same way that we have been doing with Active Directory. If you're familiar with Active Directory or Exchange Server or any platform that offer dynamic group functionality or feature so you click create dynamic group and then you have to add the query or the condition and this is very easy and very straightforward as well so all you have to do here is you select the condition from the drop down menu and actually there are a lot of properties that you can choose from and the most simple and the most straightforward option is let's say the department or the title so if you set the department to something like projects and then once you're fine with the condition if you add more conditions or let's say you make it or and you do whatever condition that you want otherwise if you're fine with a single condition then you click preview and you will see the results for it, for the the condition that you have and then you'll be able to create the dynamic group and then this is the standard creation <laughs> window so you name the group let's say projects department don't know how to type users then let's say this is then the group name which is project dipped dot so we can distinguish if i had 
any other similar group or something like that before and that's it this is all the dynamic group now if you want to see how things work you will go to done or you click done then it should actually take me to the group page or the group settings otherwise uh, yeah it didn't take me anyway so i'll go now but again i just wanted to point out that you can create multiple conditions here let's say the projects department in let's say a country or whatever like usa or whatever country that you want and then all of the people in that department within this country will be added to a specific group and then so on so let me go back to the group page or the group the actual group settings let me find the group this is the one that i have just created oh and actually if you notice the display i have almost forgot that you notice now you have the membership type which is either static or dynamic so now this is also something that going to help you distinguish between the 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 group type whether it's a static group or a dynamic group so this one is dynamic and this one is static so if you go inside then you'll see there is one dynamic member now let me go back to my users and add another user into the projects department and let's see what's going to happen there again this is all beta so by the time you're changing or by the time you're doing this or by the time this is becoming ga some stuff might become different especially the query place where you had to type the query i know that the query is something very simple but they might make it more friendly for people so they can see that and work with it although i don't see any way they can make it more friendly actually <laughs> anyways let me change the department for the secretary or testing user 04 to be projects then let me click save and let me go back to the group and see what's going to happen now so this is the group i have it open there but anyways so you see now it's automatically added the new member and if i go to the group settings you'll see there are two dynamic members there so yeah <laughs> i don't know what to say really this is very awesome a very great update and when i saw that the first time when 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 they shared that with me with a screenshot i was like this has been 10 years and i've been waiting for this and finally this thing has came and now it's it, at least it's in beta so hopefully it will become ga at any point in the next few months i believe so that's it really this is what i wanted to point out and show you hopefully this will be useful and this will be great actually for you if you like this video please subscribe and like the video as well and if you have any comment on this please don't hesitate to put it in the comment section i'll be very happy to interact with you and to to answer any question or discuss any point with you so that's it until the next video thanks a lot for your time and thank you for viewing